have not filmed in this house since I've moved here, which is exciting because you guys get to see it. And if there's any echoey noise, I don't think that there's enough furniture in the living room yet. Also, there's not enough furniture in my bedroom yet, so I'm not going to film there. So we have this beautiful fireplace, which has all the little home decor pieces that I've been buying over some time, but I don't have anywhere to put yet. So if you want to see a home decor haul, leave that in the comments so I know to film that. However, this video is a beauty haul, and it's sponsored by Ulta. What? Ulta literally is sponsoring this haul. I would have gotten all my summer beauty stuff at Ulta anyway, so the fact that they're just giving me a gift card to get it and show it to you guys is so exciting. In this haul, there's eight things in total, so that's not going to be too long, but it's just enough to show you all the things that I'm going to buy and be using for summer. I got the Naked Basics palette. Now, one of my only eyeshadow palettes that I really use is the Naked palette by Urban Decay, but I kind of stopped wearing eyeshadow because I don't really want glittery shadow all the time, and there are a few matte colors in that palette, but it just wasn't what I was looking for right now. So Claudia told me about the Naked Basics palette, and it has six shadows that are mostly cool tone, and they range from white to black, which is good because I can have a brow bone color, like some liner if I want to use the black that way, or as a dark crease color. So, this is good. <laughs> the second product I have is a powder foundation, and this is what I prefer to use in the summertime because I sweat and I don't want to sweat off the liquid, but if I'm on powder foundation, then it's going to start to absorb the sweat and it's not going to look so messy. It's by Tarte, which I love Tarte products, and it's the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation, and my shade is light, medium neutral. Also, if you're going to use this foundation, I would recommend getting this brush because the type of powder it is, it's packaged a little bit differently. It's a loose powder. This brush is just the same size as the netting area, and you just press it in there and then just dab on the foundation like so. The third product, I don't know if I would have bought on my own, so that's why I'm kind of happy that this haul is sponsored because I will get to try out things that I might not have bought. And it was about $80, but I might get eyebrows from it. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die For Turbo. I'm fine with my eyelashes. I really like my eyelashes. They're naturally long and black and thick and volumized. However, my eyebrows suck. So I'm gonna try using this at night and then maybe throughout videos and stuff, you'll see some improvement in my eyebrow game because right now I'm losing. It's like negative five. The fourth product is this Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse and it's the dark shade. Now the one that I usually use and the only one I've ever tried is the bronzing mousse, the original one in the white bottle. However, the black bottle is extra dark and I figured, you know, like why not give it a shot? I would highly suggest this self tanner over any other one. It has a, like a green undertone and I have olive skin. So it's not gonna be too orangey and make you look fake, but it's not gonna be too just straight brown where you're gonna look muddy. I shower and I take a loofah, which is actually one of the other products I got from Ulta. It's just a white loofah, but it has this massage bar on the other end. And I was like, okay, this could be kind of cool. Never tried this before. Uh, so I take a shower and I take my body wash and just exfoliate my entire body and then I shave and so I'm cleaned off of any hair and dead skin that I want and then I get out of the shower, I dry off and I put lotion on my hands, on my knees, my elbows and my feet. And then once that lotion dries, you're going to take your mitt, put it on your hand and then you pump some of the mousse on here and then you just rub it around your body. It's pretty simple. I just wanted to go through that demonstration because I have never tried self tanning before a couple years ago. I was so afraid of just looking horrible afterwards. So if you've never tried self tanning but if you think that it's something you may be interested in, then I would go for the Saint Tropez. And if you're already pretty tan, I would go for the dark. I'm suggesting this and I haven't even tried it yet, but I just, I trust this brand so I'm pretty sure I'll be good. And like I said, I got this loofah, classic, you know, you should replace them like you replace your toothbrush. Woo! The sixth thing I got was this body brush, and I feel like it's a bat right now. And I'm just gonna swing and not hit anything. Oh, hey, Victoria, got the ball ready? Throw it. I watch a lot of health videos on YouTube, and one thing I've seen a lot on some of these girls' videos is dry brushing, where you just take a brush like this and you exfoliate your skin out of water. And it helps with blood flow and possibly reducing cellulite. It's just good for getting off dead skin as well as uh, increasing circulation, like I said. So I haven't tried it yet. Like I said, I got this package yesterday, so this is something new in my life. Two more things. Okay, this is a summer essential. If you do not have this in your life, you need it now. I don't necessarily want to promote aerosol cans, but this is my favorite dry shampoo. Batiste, I only find it at Ulta. I'm, I know they sell it other places, but I know that they always have it at Ulta, 
and Batiste is one of my favorite dry shampoo brands because they make it for hair color. When I had brown hair, it was my favorite because I wouldn't get that white powdery look. Now that I have blonde hair, I like the blonde one because if my roots are looking kind of bad, it sprays on lighter and you can't really tell that my roots need touching up, which my roots do need touching up. I'm gonna get them touched up the day before VidCon. So then at VidCon, I'm like, bam, wow, blonde. And for the grand finale, teeth whitener. I don't really do this much. I don't know, I don't really strive for white teeth, but every time I see someone with white teeth, I'm like, wow, those look really good. These are the 3D Crest White Strips Lux Glamorous White. And I'm gonna say that I think that they've improved a lot. Like I remember when I first tried them, them being really hard to use and being afraid of them slipping off and it was kind of unmanageable to talk or I mean, without the fear of ruining it. However, when I tried these yesterday, I was talking to Jack and Claudia and getting ready. Actually what I did was, um, we were going out last night and I hadn't put on my makeup or done my hair or anything yet. And we were just hanging out, dancing or whatever. I put in the white strips, didn't have to talk while I was dancing, had a dance party, went downstairs, showered, got ready. And by the time we were, you know, ready to go, I could take these off and I brushed my teeth and then we left. Thank you, Ulta, if you're watching this. I'm so happy that uh, you, you gave me this opportunity because I literally want all of this stuff and I would have just bought it with my own money anyway. Yeah, you guys should go to Ulta if you want to get any of your summer essentials. You can order it online if you don't have an Ulta near you. If you want to see more vlogs, because I've been really liking my summer on tape, if you haven't seen that series, you should check it out if you want to know more about my personal life. Other than that, Biggest thing I'm interested in right now is Snapchat. It's so much fun, it's so easy because I don't have a vlog channel and if I don't vlog every day, I feel like I can give you my day in the Snapchat. So if you wanna go follow me, I can put a picture here and if you hover your phone over top of it, then you can follow me too. And I, I make really good Snapchat stories. They're not just like lame, like I think they're pretty good. Okay, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you wanna see a home decor haul, I would love to show you. So sneak peek, I got a cool succulent. All my other socials, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I don't actually have a Facebook, maybe I should make one. Okay, if I make a Facebook page, it'll be down there too. So all the places that you go on social media that you want to follow me on, go for it and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye. Why did I do this?